Fortnite secretly just made one of the biggest storyline changes yet and no one is talking about it. We already talked about how the Chrome is spreading very quickly and it's about to hit the Devourer Bones. And even Colombo's Bones. But what no one is talking about is the Fortnite robot. Not the one on the left, but the old one on the right. At the start of Fortnite Chapter 3, everyone noticed that the mecha team leader's arm was stuck inside of the water. And for over months and months at this location, it would just be stuck there and nothing would happen to this arm fortnite did absolutely nothing with it until today no one knows about this this must have just happened and no one knows if you go to the exact same location and you go under the water let's look for the robot arm no matter where we go the robot is completely gone gone from existence and fortnite is hush hush they have said nothing about it obviously we know as the chrome spreads it has a healing power so realistically when the chrome got to the robot arm the completely broken arm it would have revived the arm and maybe the robot as the chrome is spreading someone on the map clearly does not want the robot the original robot to make a return and that is none other than the herald she has an evil plan to have her chrome spread all the way to the reality tree destroy the map and she wants to make sure she has no issues along the way if the chrome reached the robot arm we know the robots on our side our robot would have helped us finally at long last fortnite is teasing the return of the ice king let me explain this would be absolutely perfect because christmas time winter time is coming up and we need the entire fortnite map to once again be iceified but mr top five what makes you think the ice king is actually returning this is being teased by none other than boss inquisitor you can see there's an entire path of ink going down and then a weird looking ritual area and we know that fortnite does everything on purpose but what does this remind you guys of it looks very normal but there's a terrifying backstory relating to the kings of fortnite this is the fire king summoning circle from fortnite chapter one and if you look very closely this looks absolutely ideal identical to what we are seeing in Fortnite in chapter 3. It's right in front of our eyes, but nobody's talking about it. But that's the Fire King though. What about the Ice King and how does this all relate? A few months ago, what did we see coincidentally come back to Fortnite for the first time in three years? None other than the Ice King Shield. Fortnite does everything on purpose and it's very coincidental that they did this and brought it back. You go and collect the shield, the scientist can't have this. No, with his extremely unique allergies. The scientist is now gone. If the Ice King wanted to come back, he literally could, and his shield is still on the map. Although the entire map is spreading to Chrome, there is one thing that everyone is missing. It started at Herald Sanctum, and it's quickly moving to the Reality Tree. Pretty soon, the entire map is going to be covered in Chrome, which leaves us with a big issue, but we might have a solution that no one is talking about. We know that the Foundation went completely missing, and nobody knew where he went but he is likely still alive and fortnite put this right in front of our eyes but no one seems to realize it you can see although the entire map is chrome one area is not chrome say hello to the foundation's vault this is likely where he is hiding he is likely still alive and you can see from both doors that this is the only thing not chromified it is the only thing that is still completely normal it's almost like a hide out for the foundation so let's glitch inside of this vault and see if the foundation is hiding inside of here attempt number one i'm just going to try and replay glitch inside of the doors i assume this won't work but i have a better idea okay it doesn't work at all what if we go all the way down to the corner wait a minute hold on wait a minute hold on you can see inside you can see a little sliver inside of the door it's almost like Fortnite's trying to do this on purpose. There is clearly something inside, but what if we now glitch under the map? Subscribe to the channel if you want the Devourer to return. My haters keep telling me I can't reach 5 million subscribers, so please prove them wrong. To do this, all we have to do is go way off the map itself and then go under the water and we will be able to glitch inside of the vault. Okay, we are now fully under the water. This is where the foundation statue is. This is where we are. And let's just go forward, keep on going. And now you can 
see. We're fully under the map. This looks so cool. The foundation's over here, so let's go to his vault. Here's the door. It's fully open under the door. And now let's slowly make our way inside three two one what is inside okay we're actually in you can see the front of the door this clearly means there's something inside but we can't see what's in there fortnite is hiding it but comment down below if you think it's the foundation what will happen when the chrome spreads even more and finally hits the reality tree there are so many theories out there some people saying that we're gonna get fortnite chapter four some people saying that there's a live event that's going to be happening i have one theory that makes total sense think about what i'm about about to tell you we know that the devourer is most likely going to be making a return we also know that the robot is most likely going to be making a return as well because his arm is gone from the map and fortnite does this completely on purpose we also know that colombo is most likely coming back we know that the fire king and the ice king are most likely coming back how would fortnite fit all of this into one season or one live event something just isn't adding up you know that this is the reality tree everything related to fortnite is related to this tree and it is completely gone it is literally dead right now the chrome is going to revive it but not in the normal way it won't go back to the reality tree i have a strong theory that when the tree is revived it will open up some sort of portal and allow us to relive every live event at once speaking of portals we know harold is part of the last reality and the cube queen was taking control of the entire map with a portal opening up the last reality what if that is harold's plan once again once the chrome hits the tree last reality portal will once again open but not ufos this time all of the dangerous creatures from the past the devourer could come out from the sky she got eliminated and she wants her revenge we all know the power of midas and the fact that donald mustard the creator of fortnite himself said that midas is still alive we also know that midas is not on the same team as the last reality and the cube queen and whatever midas touches turns to gold it's very similar to harold turning whatever she wants to chrome it's almost like she stole midas's ability and now he's mad so the fact that midas is still alive and everything on the map is turning to chrome as we speak could we possibly be teaming up with midas later in this season i know it's far-fetched but he wants revenge against harold and we need his help with his abilities to save the entire island apparently there's a way to get chrome punk for free without even doing the challenges so apparently on this map all you have to do is go down to this location the flutter barn don't make fun of me that i don't have it unlocked so let's drop down to the south island and see can you get chrome punk for free without doing the challenges there he is the chrome punk and if i just eliminate this npc with mystique just like so now i use her emote say hello to the chrome punk skin obviously i don't have this in my locker but we are wearing this on release skin before the quests are even live on the day i'm recording this it's confirmed